out there, Cyber Friends, it's Midi Man, Marcus Music, coming back at you again with yet another word for today. And uh, people, I tell you right now, I feel, I feel, I feel fired up. I feel fired up, real uh, anointing, it's real heavy on me right now. I was, uh, I was looking at, uh, I was looking at a video from my brother, and he's speaking about the lost sheep in the house of Israel, you know. Uh, upload and I, I agree with this brother I agree with this brother so much and and I'm gonna say before before the before the uh, comments start flying about false teaching because there's nothing false in that teaching and I don't know the brother's name but the brother's on it the brother's on it and people when you think that you got everything worked out and no one else can tell you anything you sadly mistaken, and I want to give this guy, I don't know his name, but the man, Channel Man, is uploading the videos, and I agree with this brother totally. I agree with him totally. I cannot, and I will not, go and try to find all these scriptures, but I'm going to say something very, very plain, and to the point, and concise, and, and it will support everything that this guy said. It will support everything that this guy stated in this video. I want to first take the time out to give the shout out to the YouTube family from Baby Justice all the way up to Big Papa JT. We love you. God God love you. And we're going to, I just got to say this. I want everybody to check out Channel Man video. Listen to this guy speak. And then you decide for yourself. But people don't get, don't get narrow minded. Do not get, don't, don't become closed minded because this is scripture. It's in the book. Now, he was speaking about a lot of people saying about God is through with the nation of Israel. Well, people, I got sense enough. It don't take a rocket science to figure that out. God was never going to be through with Israel. Those are his chosen. Now, I know that we got a lot of people who can say, well, God loves everybody. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. But he chose the nation of Israel. You got to go. You got to read the scripture. But now, when he was saying Jesus came, he, he spoke by John 3.16 and using the word, the word world. And he made good points about we use that word world too loosely to make it mean the whole earth. But that doesn't quite naturally mean that. He, he gave like, okay, just like, I'm a musician. In my world, a musician, we could say we got in the world of music, that's a world. And he made it so plain about the use of that world and what it could mean and what it and, and what I believe it does mean a whole lot of time. And he stayed in the book of John. Well, people, it don't take you long. The spirit will identify with the spirit. Now, I'm gonna say this. Now, he made a mention that Jesus came. To, to, as to be the sacrifice, the final sacrifice for the nation of Israel. That's why he came. And he's correct. He was sent to them. He was correct. Ooh, I messed up, ain't I? Well, no, I haven't. It's been in the Bible all the time. Our problem is we won't read it right and let the Holy Spirit open up our, our the eyes of our wisdom. In our spirit. If you think about it, Jesus even said so himself. If you can remember the scripture where he, the Syrophoenician woman, came to him. See, I don't even have my Bible, but I know it's in there. When he, the Syrophoenician woman, came to him, she was a Gentile. What did Jesus tell that woman? He said, It is not me for you to give the children bread to dogs. Now you got to realize why he said that. He wasn't being disrespectful. He wasn't being disrespectful. Now, I'm not going to try to explain it to no one, but go there and read it for yourself. He, he was sent to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. That's scripture. Jesus said that himself, people. So therefore, I'm, I'm just going to say, if you read, now I'm, I am going to get the scripture for this, because the guy made it perfectly clear. Salvation came through the Jews, by the Jews. We are saved only because of the Jews. If it wasn't for the Jews, none of us would be saved. Now, let's look at, let's go to the book of John. 
Let's go to the book of John. The very, very first chapter. That's why that's where many man want to come from. And I think this here assures us, assures what what time it is. And I'm gonna hurry. In the beginning was the what? The word. And the word was with God. And the word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him. And without him was not anything made that was made. Now people, we know this is talking about Jesus. Okay, in him was life. And the life was the light of men. And the light shining in darkness. And the darkness comprehended it not. In other words, darkness could not comprehend it. The world could not see him, not the world that we know. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. Now we're talking about John the Baptist here, that's what we're talking about. The same came for a witness to bear witness of the light, that all men, all men through him might believe. Listen to that now. It said all men through him might believe. Okay. He was not that light, but was sent to bear witness of that light. That was the true light which lighted every man that cometh into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. You see that, people? The world was made by him, and the world knew him not. Now, dig this down. If we're going to say the world, as we say the music world, or the business world, or the whatever world, the gay world, or the, 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 the bi world, or whatever, well, now, in this particular sense, in this scripture here, when he said he was in the world and the world was made by him. Now, he could yet be talking about the children of Israel because remember, he made them. He called them and made them a nation from who? Abraham. By calling Abraham out. So, in a sense, that could still be that. But that just says he's talking about the literal world that we live on, the planet. He said, but he, he let's let look at what he said. And the world knew him not. Well, you know some of his own, they, well, let me read that very next verse. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. Now people, we know they talk about the Jews. They did not receive him, a lot of them. The main one. The church. The spiritual leaders. The priests. The Sadducees. The Pharisees. He said, but as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. We're going to stop right there. That's what the brother was saying. The brother never said that Jesus didn't save all of us. No, he never said that. But he was sent to the sheep, the lost sheep of the house of Israel, to get them out from under the curse of the law. We were Gentile. We had no law to be delivered from. So he couldn't have come for us. He came to set them free. But by him coming, by him coming to set the Jews free and to set the Israelites free, to get them out from under the curse of the law. We were never under a law. But by us believing, he said, to as many as believe, to he gave the power to become. We become sons of God. Oh, people, it's plain. It's plain. Oh, man, thank God for revelation knowledge. Thank God for people that will tell the truth like this guy and not afraid to tell it. People is there. But we just got to open up and I got to hear it. We got to open up the eyes of our understanding that the Holy Spirit speak to our spirit and show us these truths that's in God's word. But you got the reason why we don't know, we don't study enough. And you need to get from within yourself. You need to listen to others that's anointed, that is also teaching and preaching. And then you get, it ain't saying you follow a man. No, you follow the scripture. You follow the word of God. The spirit will bear witness to the spirit. That's all it is, people. So Jesus came for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. It's plain. He said that himself. But it's through we get the benefit, people. Don't you remember? Even God told Abraham that by through here all nations will be blessed. See, that's a blessing there. That's explains the whole thing. But it's through the Jews. Salvation comes. Read my lips again. Salvation is of the Jews, people. I don't care how you can, you may not like it. I 
I don't care who preach against it. It's the word. It's the word. Salvation is through the Jew. We look at Jesus. Jesus in the flesh. He was what? Jewish. His mom was Jewish and his earthly father was Jew. Joseph was of the lineage of David. And we know that Jesus is the offspring of King David. He he was placed in the right family. Oh, people, I can't go on. I could keep talking. But you just think about it. Still, David was a Jew. The son of who? Jesse. Last I checked, they was all Israelites. People, it's, it's real simple. Jesus was ethnic nationality. Like I'm a black man, African descent. Jews, Jesus, earthly, cat, earthly gen, gender, he was a male and he was a Jew. Don't try to make him some male people. That was his nationality. His earthly, his earthly man was a Jew. Salvation came through by the Jew. But to as many as received him, that's what the guy was saying. To them gave you power to become what? The sons of God. So we as Gentiles, I'm going to cut it off. I challenge everybody to just read for themselves and be open-minded. People don't, none of us know it all. But let's just get, collect all the knowledge from each other and let's just let's, let's do accordingly. And, and we all will get there. See, one thing about it, whatever God has for me is for me. And I'm going to receive just as much benefit as anybody else. But I got to receive it. He's not going to force it on me. To as many as received him, to them gave he power to become what? Sons of God. That being said, this is many man saying peace. Goodbye.